Hey everybody, welcome to the Riverwalk Boardwalk in Port St. Lucie. Right now we're at Veterans Memorial Park you know, for Veterans Highway in Port St. Lucie. Just checking out the gazebo and the pelicans. Hello, pelican. <laughs> That's what Robert from Traveling Robert always says. This is the uh, St. Lucie River Aqueduct. Right now we're in the back of the park. Beautiful picnic tables. Beautiful landscaping here. Just tons and tons of nice palms and things like that. It's gorgeous. I really like it here a lot. There's Old Glory. She's at half mast in honor of the tornado victims up there in Tennessee. Really made a mess up there, but Lord knows we've had our share of it down here too. All right, we're gonna head out now to our next location, just across the Crosstown Parkway Bridge. And that's where we are right now. We are underneath the Crosstown Parkway. Yes, folks, this is where all your millions of dollars of tax money went to. But they got a pretty nice setup down here. I tell you, it's very clean. They did it nice. Uh, you see a lot of people coming around, walking their dogs, and just hanging out and chilling. Uh, you don't see the usual graffiti on the concrete like you do up in New York and all that there, you know. So it's nice to know that people are respecting, uh, you know, the community. Here's another little pelican. It's not really a pelican. I don't even have any idea what kind of bird this is. So that's why I decided to put him in black and white. So if anybody can guess what kind of birdie he is, uh, you know, definitely leave me a comment and let me know. Very friendly. Um, you know, a little skittish. I mean, he knew I was there, but I wasn't uh, being aggressive or anything. I just wanted to kind of take his picture. And uh, these are the mangroves over there by the boardwalk. There's a lot of gators in here. You better believe it. So be careful when you're noodling around out here in the water. <laughs> Beautiful day out here today, though. I tell you, it's just a little less than 80 degrees, maybe 88, something like that. There's a nice cool wind blowing. Look at the way this wisteria just kind of climbs up the trees and takes over. You know, in the uh, olden days when the Indians inherited and lived in all this area, um, they used to peel the wisteria off and then they would use it like we use rope today because it's as strong as steel. I mean, it's just an amazing natural plant that grows wild pretty much all over the country. Yeah, that's wisteria. If anybody's got an experience with that, I'd love to hear a comment on that. Tell me your wisteria stories. Yeah, these guys are power boating. They're headed south, nice and easy. I tell you what, look at that boardwalk. The floor is made out of some kind of composite where it doesn't splinter at all. It's amazing. I don't really have a lot of experience down here, but look how flat that water is. Man, I tell you what, I wish it was a little warmer with the jet ski weather uh, because the water is actually really cold. But man, that water is flat as glass. It's around four o'clock, so that's usually what's to be expected in that late afternoon. Now, if you look way up in the distance, you can see one lonely guy. He looks like he's just making his way on back from a good old day fishing or a bad day fishing even, but you know what they say, bad day fishing beats a good day at work, you know? <laughs> I went to black and white because the camera went out of focus because the first time I've taken it out to a location and finally figuring out all the buttons and whistles and bells on it. There we go, now we got him in focus. And now look at this knucklehead. He comes speeding by, like not a care in the world, no respect at all. No consideration for that poor guy on that little rowboat over there. They just, oh, we're going up river. I have plenty of beer and plenty of gas. <laughs> I gotta say though, Port St. Lucie really did it right. I mean, look at the way the footings are, the concrete, it's over eight inches thick. They've got this uh, basalt rock here. They must have imported that from Connecticut. The overhead bridge has got that nice little walkway. You can see a couple of lads just cruising east on there. It's a good workout. It's good walking, good on the bicycle. And of course, all the, the pier and the column work underneath is real solid, if you can see. Man, this bridge will be here for, you know, at least 100 years, if, if not even longer. I know it's definitely going to outlive us. 
The artificial reef below this dock is a gift to the community from the Treasure Coast chapter of the Florida Public Relations. Adrian Moore. Well, looks like Bud just got loose. He was dragging his leash around. Man, look at how flat that water is and how beautiful. Here's a nice bunch of people on the left side down here. They're just chilling, man, kicking back, enjoying the sunshine and enjoying the warmth and the whole solitude of this place. It's really wonderful down here. Thank you so much for watching this presentation of the Riverwalk Park that all of our hard-earned tax dollars have paid for. Video shot on a Sony XD cam and edited with Adobe Premiere 2023. Hey man, give me a like, give me a subscribe, it really is helping me out.